Gymnastics might be the most beautiful Olympic sport. The athletes need a combination of strength, agility, and gracefulness to master six events. I don't have any of those traits. Ooh. <laughs> That's why I asked John Orozco, a U.S. Olympic team member who won the national all-around competition this year, to walk me through most of the events. How hard can it be? I met him at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado. First up was an equipment check. But you also have like these, which, which I don't really think I, I quite have. Can I, almost, you... <laughs> almost. John showed me how to do three things on the rings. A support hold. Oh, <laughs> I gotta keep him still. An L seat. Oh man. And, point. and a tuck planche. It's a okay. hold, bend your knees, try to push. Oh. That wasn't too bad. So he graduated to something harder, the parallel bars. John gave me a little demo of the event. You have to be totally straight when you're swinging here. It was time for me to get on the bars. Yep. Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get up. Well, try to at least. All right. <laughs> kind of squeeze your butt. Keep... Swinging on the parallel bars is one of the most basic of moves. Gymnasts need to do that to build momentum to do the fancy stuff. I couldn't even do that. Oh, this is like terrifying. I thought I would be able to get up to the handstand, but I don't, I don't think I can even... Uh... Uh, yeah, maybe not today. Next up was the floor exercise, where John taught me a number of moves. The headstand. Ooh. A cartwheel. Ooh. And a front tuck. You know, I wasn't so good at it, so I jumped into the foam pit. Oh, okay. That is like the softest landing pit like ever, and I'm still terrified. It was all pretty hard. Oh. Especially getting out of the foam pit. Uh, but how do we get out? Wait, how many things did I do uh, right on that? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> After resting my arms in the floor exercises, it was time to head to the pommel horse, one of the hardest events. You have to balance on the narrow pommel horse and keep up your strength while maintaining your rhythm and holding yourself up and support. That was something I definitely could not do. So John gave me one right. easy goal. And cut your leg to the front. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Finally, it was time for our last event, the vault. You have to jump onto the springboard and punch all the way up and over the vault and do as many flips or twists as you can. Given the coordination I exhibited so far, John wouldn't let me actually jump off it. But he gave me a simpler goal, to jump on it and stick the landing. But there was one thing I had to do first. You have to salute the judge. I have to salute the judge? Yeah. I was bad at that too. Even though saluting the judge is much easier than anything a gymnast has to do, I couldn't nail it. Uh, wait, how am I supposed to salute? I just want to go like, through the side and up. Oh, through the side and up, okay. This was my last shot. And a stick. I would give that a 9.5. 9.5? <laughs> Nine out of 10. I think you're being generous uh, again. Yeah, I'm, I'm a nice judge. <laughs> For the Wall Street Journal in Colorado Springs, I'm Stu Wu. Oh, this is why you don't train in here. <laughs>